Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not a paid representative from the Coca-Cola Company or any of its subsidiaries. Nonetheless, I do like Coke Zero because um, I'm already, you know, a little chubby around the midsection and and kind of addicted to caffeine, and so uh, you know, I need something that has caffeine and sort of tastes like sugar. Because if I don't, then I'll just drink the fully loaded version and and consume about probably like 800 calories more a day. That's a lot. So, um, Coke Zero, I, I like it because it doesn't have that nasty diet aftertaste that you get from like Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. And even Pepsi Max, which is better than Diet Pepsi, still not as good as Coke Zero. So, imagine how crushed I was to hear that they were ending Coke Zero. Well, not exactly. This is Coke Zero Sugar. Um, it's it's got new improved taste. I seem to remember Coke trying this once before with one of their products. It didn't end so well. But nonetheless, let's find out definitively if new Coke Zero Sugar, which I'm just going to point out. It still says Coke Zero on the back. I, thought he was going to get rid of all I, I, I don't. I don't know that this is like a major change, but nonetheless, let's find out if Coke Zero Sugar is actually better than Coke Zero. Wait here. Let me get in the traditional drinking a Coke pose because you always have to be able to read the label when you do this. I'm used to. I mean, granted, a fully loaded Countin, uh, yeah, right, Countin, a fully loaded Fountain Coke, say that three times fast, a fully loaded Fountain Coke from, uh, from a place that has the mix right is the best, but this is not bad. Uh, now, let's try this one. It sounds the same. Once again, turns so you can read the label. Maybe I need a palate cleanser. Hold on. All right. I, I really couldn't tell much of a difference. Tastes like Coke Zero, which the important thing is that it doesn't taste like Diet Coke because Diet Coke sucks. I just lost my potential Coke endorsement right there by saying Diet Coke sucks. But nonetheless, Diet Coke sucks. There is a comment section for people that are fans of Diet Coke, but nonetheless, I'll stand by it. All right, and then All right, well, there you have it. I can't I can't really tell a difference between either of these. Um, let, me, let, me, let me do this. Uh, you know, I'm just going to I'm going to think about the Rubik's cube right now and turning it left and turning it right and uh, at this point just doing this I have uh, I've lost count of how many times I've done this so let's see I've got two of these I'm not looking alright uh, I, I don't know what this is Okay, um, my, my, my gut instinct is that one's the zero sugar. Or maybe, 
No, no, I'm going to stand by my first thought that that one is G zero sugar and this is original. Um, hey, I got it right. Okay, so apparently there is a slight difference. But um, other than that, people who actually do drink this stuff, which I know is terrible for you, uh, I've been told by plenty of people who are really health conscious that I shouldn't drink this stuff. Uh, I don't, I don't care. Uh, I'm drinking it anyway. Although apparently now I'm drinking this, but you do not have to worry. If you are a fan of Coke Zero and you're wondering, will I like the new Coke Zero? I don't think you're gonna notice much of a difference. It's pretty, pretty close. Nonetheless, different enough that on a blind taste test, I, with a certain amount of luck, guessed which one was which. So there you go. If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, finding out definitively the difference between Co old Coke Zero and new Coke Zero Sugar. Yay!